Hey and welcome everyone, it's Rude Onion once again, and I'm bringing you a live com of The Walking Dead episode 1. Start. I hope this isn't accidentally the trial. <laughs> um, I did play through the trial of the game, just to you know, see if I kind of like it. I haven't done anything else, so I don't know anything else that happens. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this. Oh, I'll probably keep that on just because I haven't played it already. This is Christmas, by the way. Well, I'm re I'm recording and playing through this on Christmas. You know, I needed something with a with a little holiday cheer in it. I figured, right? Why not? I'm even wearing my Santa hat. If Santa was a raging Packers fan, which I'm sure he is. I mean, he lives up there where it's cold, and it's cold in Wisconsin, especially in Green Bay. So, makes sense. Actually, it helps my headset fit better because my headset's a little big, and I can't make it any smaller. Is that like the small? I don't know if I just have a small head or what the hell it is, but I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I don't want it to come through the mic. <laughs> I have a problem with games that that do that. It should be okay then. I really hope it is. <laughs> A new day. Let's do this. Come on. I like the show. I really do. The show's great. I've, I'm completely caught up on it. Did this start differently from the trial? I didn't know that. I thought the trial. I assumed the trial started at the beginning. I didn't mean it, officer. I didn't mean to pee on your car. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um, no, I totally peed on your car. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. Nah, he's black. You know, I'll take him anyway. Of fellas down to this prison. I'm a terrible I'm racist. No, I'm not. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Awkward silence. I'm looking at you, old man. Hold your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. A what boy? Oh, make. Oh, okay. You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. <laughs> Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? <laughs> all of it. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Got on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Ah, That brings up bad memories. You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> he picked up on that. I take it I'm gonna come across him again later? Regardless, mm -hmm. could be you just married the wrong woman. Probably. <laughs> <sighs> what? I said she married the wrong guy. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Take up worrying about zombies. They should have been more prepared. See, if they had a zombie plan, this wouldn't have happened. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. <laughs> he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Yeah, snot. 
And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. <laughs> so he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. I didn't do he it. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Oh, I think I know him. It goes to show. Picked up on that. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Sounds gonna happen. I didn't even read the other ones, that's the only one I saw right in front of me. <laughs> Ouch. And that's the end of the game. That should have been the trial, it just ends there. <laughs> I think my cat's knocking on the door. Should probably get out of the car. Right about now. There's gonna be a zombie right in my face! Ah, oh, there it wasn't. I'm gonna let my cat in because he's not gonna stop knocking. Like, he actually does knock on the door. And then he runs off as soon as I open it. Little bastard. I got him a new collar for Christmas. I spent more time picking that out than any other gifts. True story. Yes, it's wounded. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? Um, I'm still cut back here! Pretty sure he's. Officer? Not alright. That doesn't look good. No, he, he looks pretty dead. Find a way out of the car. I can't. Hit it again! Hit it again! One more time! Ha <laughs> uh. I need to drag myself out that window. <laughs> yes, I, I voice stuff like that too. I need to get to my door. Open it. Get to kitchen. Okay, so you do start the trial wounded, but I didn't remember if it if it explained why. By zombies. Officer dude, are you infected? Officer? God damn. <laughs> um I'm pretty sure he's dead. Take his weapons. Take his butt. There we go. Shit. Ah. Get him back. Get him. There we go. I'm not used to using the right stick to... He's gonna attack! <gasps> what? <laughs> Why did he freak out? Oh, See, I'm still using the left stick for some reason. I'm trying to. There we go. Get it? Officer. Ah! Zombie. Holy shit! He has rabies! What in the hell? What the fuck are you? It's a zombie, dude. Come on. Get away from me. It's obvious. Why do I have to keep looking at him? Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to grab something? Oh my god! Cat! Shut up! 
What am I? What am I supposed to do? Oh, that would do it. Ah, he's gonna eat me! Damn it! I didn't even think to look on that side. I'd, I'm the first encounter, and I die. What does that say about the rest of the game? <laughs> this game is not going to go well. <laughs> Skittles just lies right in the middle of all of my candy. Because I have like this huge stockpile of, of candy canes and, and whatnot. Okay, well now I know what to do. I picked up the the bullet, I guess, or the, sh the shell. I didn't even see the gun on the other side at all. The bullet is more important! See, you could have thrown it at him, it might have distracted him long enough that I could have grabbed the gun. Oh my god! Get this stupid thing! Cat, stop eating my candy. Oh, just do it. Seriously, he's lying right in the middle of my pile. Keep it! No! God, you little bitch. I hope you guys can... Oh, good achievement. Alright. I swear to God, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna beat you on Christmas this? night. Okay, what do I do now? I guess I've seen him. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Help! Go get someone! Oh, is that the little girl? Is that the the kid? Whatever her face is, I don't remember. Yeah, that's graceful. Way to go. You know, if you still had the gun on you, you can maybe do something about it. Oh wait, I guess I didn't have any more shells, did I? You could whack it with them. Whack, whack them with it. <laughs> Use it as a club. Run, little boy, run! Run away from the zombies! Oh, there's a treehouse. Okay, so that's where the trial starts. For those who haven't maybe played it. 